So Sotne Rogava making his way toward the boxing ring. He'll be boxing out of the red corner. So there is the man who will operate out of the blue corner, David Chaloyan from Armenia. So Frank Fiaco of Canada is the referee. To the red corner, and we are underway in this super heavyweight contest. 92 kilograms plus between boxers from Ukraine and Armenia. The boxer wearing red is Sotne Rogava, 28 years of age. Fresh from his appearance at the Tokyo Olympic Games. We lost to the eventual bronze medalist, Fraser Clark of Great Britain, in the first preliminary round. And he lands a good right hand there that swivels the head of the man in blue, David Chaloyan. Took a bronze medal in the World Military Championships earlier this summer. Competing in his first Aiba World Boxing Championships, but prevailing in the SISM military event with a medal finish, a podium finish. That'll do his confidence the world of good because so many of the Aiba boxers at different nations from, from different nations all around the world are military men. So you can imagine how fit and disciplined they are. But it's not an easy tournament to get on the podium at by any in any not a, not an easy event in which to make the podium. Good left jab landed by Chaloyan. So Rogava with a good left hand during that exchange. And Chaloyan. Looking for the left uppercut against the more compact opponent. Right hand over the top. Wasn't too far away from Rogava. So good left jab from behind that peekaboo guard. Snaked out by Rogava. Showing accomplished in fighting the taller man, Chalo Yan. Working his way in behind straight shots such as that jab. Prior to that, he went with a reverse one two. Rogava trying to close the distance, bobbing and weaving in front of his man. Chalo Yan not quite finding the range on that attempted left. Right, but the left, right, left did see the left hand get through. The final one was a corkscrew shot. Closing seconds of the opening round, around where both boxers have enjoyed success.
So a 3-2 split in favor of Chalayan at the conclusion of what was a very competitive round. Some of the action from that first three minutes. Ring A, seconds out. Ring A, round two. So into the second round then. Chalayan taking the most recent of his national titles last year. Good flashing right hand landed by Rogava. Having conceded the first on a 3-2 split, he's keen to get back in the fray, but getting busy behind that lead left hand is Chalayan. Good left hand to the body slung in by the man in red. There's the same shot again, this time at short range. Good defense with the gloves to cause that shot to bounce off. As Rogava just peering in between them, looking for that right hand once again, but good defensive maneuvers by Chalayan to evade it. Left hand landed with the inside of the glove, but it landed solidly nonetheless. Looking to penetrate the gloves with volume is Chalayan. And again, the corkscrew left not too far away during that three shot salvo. Well, I can tell you that while we were looking at the coaches on the screen, there was right-hand success for Chaloyan. Again, up at this weight division. Very risky indeed to cut away from the action. And again, I can see everything that's unfolding. Because I'm right here ringside at the Star Arena. Left hand to the body. Not too far away from Rogava, but look at Chalayan. He's increasing the volume here, sticking and moving, getting on his bike after he lets a cluster of shots go. The right hand in response from Chalayan, but he's up the movement now. Excuse me, the response came from Rogava, but Chalayan has up the movement. And look at that on the bell. Well, excuse me, the bell of ring B, because there's still a fair amount of time to go here in the second round but Chalian's movement is paying dividends he scores with another jolting left hand reaches with the southpaw right as his feet came maybe just beyond square momentarily but Chalian cutting a dynamic figure in the boxing ring darting left and right only occasionally holding his feet and when he does so is to throw out clusters of punches and Rogava really struggling to close the distance since this tactic has been employed. And look at that glancing right hand that scores for the man in blue. Good right hand on the inside landed by Rogava. But I think this tactical change made by Chalayan has been a really effective one. Ends the round with a jolting left jab. And remember, he took the first on a 3-2 split. I think he's done enough to take the second round as well. Chalayan. Just around the midpoint of round number two, the man from Armenia got up on his toes and began darting left and right, but it was anything but running because at frequent intervals, he would hold his feet and pop, 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 poke his man with straight punches and corkscrew shots as well. A 4-1 split in favor of Chalayan at the conclusion of the second round. He leads 20 points to 18, excuse me, He's in a commanding position as we go into the final round. So some of the action from that second round. The question is, will Chalayan be able to keep the movement going? So into the third round we go then. To begin the round, Chalayan out to center ring. And looking to work his jab, but he's countered by a jab from Rogava, who's doing a good job getting closer, flashing those fists from both hands. But there's a two-shot response and a hard right hands exchange. Chalayans was a half hook, half uppercut. Rogava's was a roundhouse right in a contest 
that is incredibly competitive. Chalayan taking the first round on a 3-2 split. He took the second round on a 4-1 split with this type of approach. Served him very well indeed. He's trying to box this in this manner in the third round as he lands another right hand without reply. In the opening 40 seconds of the round, Rogava did a good job of getting closer, resulting in exchanges rather than unanswered punches. But now, look at that. Chalayan would have been able to employ the Floyd Mayweather move of looking for that shot ringside, the Billy Joe Saunders move because he made Rogava miss by such a distance. Rogava, it's a really difficult task for him to get into punching range now. There, there was an exchange of jabs, but Rogava's mouth is wide open. He scores with a three-shot combination, two shots downstairs, then right hand to the head. But it's a really difficult battle for the man in red to keep pursuing Chalayan and try to pin him down, but that's what he's got to do beyond the midpoint. As Chalayan gets busy with that lead left hand once again, Rogava scores with a left jab of his own. Good left hand over the top for Rogava during that exchange, looking to keep Chalayan honest. But when Chalayan can just maintain the gap with that lead left hand, good work to body and head from Rogava. Clipping right hand again from the man from Ukraine. In his second world championship appearance, having been eliminated by the eventual champion Bakadir Jalolov in the second preliminary round in Yekaterinburg two years ago. But there's the volume again, see, from Chalayan. And it was punches without reply because Rogava was swinging and missing with his attempted response. There he lands a good right hand to the body. Running out of time in which to invest in more body shots. And again, look at how his forward motion is di disrupted because Chalayan continuing to give the man angles wonderfully. Hitting, spinning off the line, meaning that Rogava has got to reset before he can come again. Chalayan's mouth damaged, but he's disregarding that inconvenience. He takes a hard right hand around the corner because again, Rogava still dangerous. 10 second clapper sounds. The referee with admonishment in the direction of Rogava, but on the resum resumption, he takes a stiff left-right combination, a very good performance. And for my money, well, this man, Rogava, is going to be eliminated. I, his expression suggests that he perhaps feels that way too. Altogether more exuberant over in the blue corner. And the subdued nature comparatively of the red corner could, of course, be compounded by the fact that to Sotne Rogava gave absolutely everything, pursuing his man around the boxing ring. It was a hard effort indeed. Managed to get close on occasion, but not on enough occasions for my money to be declared the victory in this contest. I think it's Chalayan who will progress. And there is confirmation. David Chaloyan of Armenia, a 4-1 split decision winner over Sotne Rogava from Ukraine, a man who represented Ukraine at the Tokyo Olympics, eliminated in the first preliminary round of this, his second world championship appearance. A very good display indeed by Chaloyan. Hitting and moving, snaking out straight punches, plenty of volume. And in this, his first world championship appearance, Armenia's national champion makes it through to the third preliminary round, the round of 16. And forgive me if I called it the second preliminary round. It's because we had one contest in the round of 64, 33 boxes making up the men's super heavyweight bracket.